So the trailer for Matrix 4 dropped today, Matrix Resurrections, and uh, I've been avoiding it all day just to do this video. A uh, little bit of backup story in my history with The Matrix. I loved this franchise. I loved it from the first film all the way through the third film. I know I have the unpopular opinion of when it comes to the second and third film. I actually thought they were really good. I was able to suspend all disbelief for the crappy CGI of the clones of uh, Agent Smith. Uh, my only problem really with the third film was the Dragon Ball Z style fight between Neo and Agent Smith that just really didn't make any sense. It was like Agent Smith went from being this really smart badass that was pretty much unstoppable to being a idiot in saying, you know, this has to be, uh, this, uh, yeah, I'm going to take you on one-on-one. -on -one. No, I'm sorry. If you are a supervillain hellbent on total domination of the entire world, you don't leave it to a one-on-one -on -one fight. You just go all out and kill the son of a bitch. So <laughs> that was... That was my big problem with the third film. Uh, but I still loved it. I still thought it was uh, a really good ending and uh, just a lot of fun. And so when the third film was over with, I really didn't feel like it needed anything. I didn't think it needed a, another movie. Um, I never got a chance to play the uh, Matrix Online game that came out. I don't even really know what the plot of that was or if that's going to have anything to do with this film connecting it to the previous films or anything like that I don't I don't know so um, and I don't know anything about the trailer because I haven't seen it I haven't I've avoided any and all spoilers or information that have come out about the Matrix 4 other than the fact that John Reeves Carrie Ann Moss is in, is still in it uh, I don't even know if Lawrence Fishburne's in it so because like I, I haven't I don't know anything so I'm going into this trailer pretty much as blind as possible so you know uh, yeah so you know what? I'm just excited to see it, see what I think about it, and uh, you know, I'll let you know what I think at the end. Okay, so after a few uh, technical problems, we're <laughs> now I'm finally recording this reaction. Okay, so we've got the a little bit of fan service with the black cat already. So, all right. Um. <laughs> I think it's funny that they're actually using this song because every time I've heard this song for the longest time, I've thought of The Matrix. Always with the White Rabbit, the Alice in Wonderland references. The mirror, of course. Okay, so it definitely has the look, at least in the real world, it, it seems to have the look of the original.
Okay. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack there. Um, hmm. So, yeah. I gotta say, um, I did get a little bit of chills at the end hearing the music, because it really did invoke the sense of nostalgia that I have towards the movies, and it's very cool to actually be, as the guy said in the end of the film, going back to the Matrix. So, yeah, um, I gotta say, I'm interested. Uh, I wouldn't say excited, but I would definitely say interested in checking this movie out and seeing where they're going with it. See what they're going to do with it. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of things that they could do with this. The idea that it's still Neo. The idea that it's uh, that it, it, is, it is Neo from the original, or it could be somebody who just resembles him and he still has that personality and the memories and everything like that the idea that you know and, and of course you know okay so I'm a fan of science fiction I love science fiction um, and have since I was a kid uh, love a lot of uh, Philip K. Dick's stories so uh, like uh, Blade Runner, Minority Report um, you know those those uh, great stories by him uh, they, they, they all had a sense of what was behind the the matrix ideas the ideas that you know a virtual reality would be indistinguishable from actual reality like we wouldn't know the difference like theoretically yeah we we could be in an alternate reality and we wouldn't know uh so <laughs> so i'm i'm starting to sound like a conspiracy theorist here i know but anyway i don't believe that's the case but uh, the fact is that if I was wrong, I wouldn't. I would have no way of knowing. And Philip K. Dick was uh, experimenting, or, or excuse me, uh, exploring those possibilities with his writing years ago, like back in the '60s and '70s. Uh, partly because of the fact that he did a lot of drugs, <laughs> and he was very paranoid himself. Uh, so, so that was one of the things I loved about The Matrix is the fact that it really did have that sort of heart of Philip K. Dick's books. And his stories and this one definitely seems like it's going that way so the question you know of course becomes is this neo or is this a copy of neo is this just another uh you know person who, who resembles him that's just had neo's memories implanted in him because if they were false memories uh of if they were neo's memories just implanted into another body then he would have no idea what the difference was from you know from reality to to this so yeah again a lot of possibilities a lot of uh, you know things that they could a lot of different directions they could go with this and it's going to be interesting to see what they do with it um i'm just i'm hoping all, all i'm saying is i really really hope they're not just going to do a whole bunch of fan service a la solo um yeah because there's a lot of things they could do with this, and then there's a lot of, there's a lot of right ways they could do this, and then there's a lot more wrong ways that they could do this. And I think by playing to a bunch of fan service, they would definitely be going about it the wrong way. Uh, now, certain uh, a certain level of fan service is to be expected. You know, the 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 subtle things like the black cat in the beginning of the movie or since the beginning of the trailer. Um, you know the 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 rooftop the helicopter on the roof and you know things like that it's all it can it, it certainly can be in homage to the original film i i would i love the idea of doing it as an homage to the original film doing it as a tribute to the original film and i'd be absolutely shocked if they didn't do that but keep it at a minimum you know keep it keep it tasteful so to speak uh gosh so, yeah, uh, but like I said, I love the original films. Um, I even love the Animatrix. I, I got the Animatrix the minute it came out. Oh, my God, I ran to the stores as, as quickly as I could get off base because this was when I was in the military when the second and third films came out. Uh, so as soon as I could get off base to get a copy of the Animatrix, I jumped at it. And, yeah, uh, and watching those, I, I absolutely loved and and saw the possibilities that came from this huge imaginative world that the Wachowskis came up with. Um, that's another thing that actually worries me, by the way, is the idea that this is not the Wachowskis 
both directing this together. They are not working together as, as directors go in a director's capacity. It's just Lana Wachowski. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen because of that. I don't know how, you know, um, she fares as a solo director without her brother involved. So, I don't know. It's... It's it's going to be interesting to see that you know um, so I don't know why and and I don't if there is a reason why uh, Andy Wachowski is not um, or yeah uh, yeah if if there's a reason why Andy Wachowski is not involved with this I'm not aware of it so if there is some reason and anybody does know please let me know in the comments uh, so I guess yeah in uh, December of this year we'll see what's going on here I guarantee you we'll probably end up getting a whole other you know, group of trailers before the end, uh, before that date comes, and we'll see what else is going on. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if anybody knows anything about Lawrence Fishburne coming back or huge uh, or Hugo Weaving. Um, so I don't know. I guess it's one of those things. I'm I'm just I'm just really I feel like I'm really on the fence about it. I'm definitely gonna go see it though. I don't I just don't think I'm as excited for it as I am other movies coming out later this year and if anybody here knows me you know which movies I'm talking about so uh, which per one particular movie I'm talking about there's one movie that's coming out that I am just absolutely ecstatic for and it's coming out here in the next couple of months so you know we'll see and I'll let you know more about that uh, so anyway So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the trailers. I'd love to see what all my buddies here on YouTube thought of this uh, thought of this trailer. If you're excited to see it, if you thought of uh, anything, if you have any opinions on the previous films, you know, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. So, and uh, if you like this video, you want to see more of my videos, you know, let me know in the comments. Also, please hit that uh, subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when I get more content coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great night and have a great weekend. Take care.